My next update has to do with a right-wing economist named Arthur Laffer. Some of you may know about him. He worked in the Reagan administration, and he was awarded the Medal of Freedom by Donald Trump. He recently outdid his right-wing past by telling us that it was technology that made it sadly the case, he said, that large numbers of our people, particularly minorities and poor people, just weren't worth $15 an hour. I kid you not. I couldn't make this stuff up. So Arthur Laver, professor of economics, et cetera, et cetera, that's his argument. Is it fair to say that these people are not worth $15 an hour? What does that even mean? $15 an hour is what an employer doesn't want to pay them. That I get, but that's very different from what they're worth. $15 is what the market decides they're not worth. The employer decides it's not worth it because he can't make money hiring them. But that's a very different matter. Let me explain. If you don't pay these people $15 an hour and give them a job at that pay, you know what they're going to be? Upset, angry, unemployed, without income poor, bitter, hurt, mental and physical problems will come their way. And you know something? Their families are going to suffer, not just those who can't get the job, but those who depend on them. And there will be health costs and social work costs, all kinds of costs. It'll turn out to cost much more than $15 an hour. The society would have been better off giving them a job for $15 because it's going to cost you a lot more not to give them a job. Think about it. Now let's turn religious for a moment. Nowhere in the Bible, I believe, I'm no expert on the Bible, but nowhere in the Bible do I understand it is written that the worth of a human being is to be determined by the market is to be determined by how much an employer will pay for somebody's labor. We're all equal in the eyes of God, I thought. The human worth is based on many things other than what the employers in the community will pay. You know, the employers never paid to maintain the environment, and we're now paying the price of what wasn't worth it for them. And employers didn't spend money to hire people to overcome the racism that tears this part of this country apart. That wasn't worth it to them either. Are we really going to do what's worth it to the employer rather than asking the obvious question, what's it worth to us as human beings? Or let me put it another way. What's the worth of the employer? Why aren't we asking that question? Really? Brian Nickel, Chipotle Mexican Grill? Is that what he's worth? $38 million so that he can decide to deprive hundreds of thousands of people of $15 an hour? Really? The market doesn't determine things accurately or appropriately or even humanly. We are not to be shaped by the market. The market is a human institution that has to serve us. And if it comes up with the worth of people that contradicts common sense and understanding, then we should go with our common sense and understanding and not be slavish in the face of the institution we've created. Otherwise, the market is a little bit like Frankenstein. Remember that story? Human beings create a monster who then comes back and overwhelms them. We've created the market. Let's not let it become a monster that overwhelms us.